French on. What a hell of a fight, though. <laughs> At the end of the day, you put on a performance that everybody's going to remember. Yeah. Can you reflect on your performance despite the loss? It was it was a growing a growing fight for me. You know, I took on a challenge. Um, I held my own. Everybody saying I'm fighting a heavyweight. At times, I could feel a little difference, but I was hurting her too. I don't think it was that far of a margin. But I'm just grateful. I'm a girl who started from the grassroots and became a world champion and got to fight on some big stages. So I just will try to work my way back. Definitely, what a performance. You showed a lot of heart and a lot of people feel that you won. Do you think that the fact that it was in San Antonio with a, a large Hispanic crowd that kind of gave her the edge? I mean, I've never, I just got like a, a promoter to support me. She's been groomed since the beginning of her career in, in Mexico. I mean, her promoter got a lot of juice. It is what it is. It is what it is. Franchon, what a crazy moment when you had to take your wig off, though. That's going to that's gonna be one to remember, right? I'm, I'm epic. I'm epic. <laughs> I do everything big. And look, Beyonce, this is a homage to her. Beyonce fell down the steps and whipped her hair. A bitch wig fell off in the ring, and I fought hard to the end. And that's what real champs do. When the corner, when we saw it, it looked like you were reluctant to take it off. But when they did it, you are just like, hey. My coach said, my husband said, they said, what you want, the belt or fucking hair? And I said, I want the belt, so I did what I had to do. What is your message to your fans and moving forward? To Lil Mala, I'm sorry, but I was fighting hard for you. And I'm just grateful for the fans who support me before and after. And this is what women's boxing is.